I don't know the deal, but the military comes here and goes into Jake's joint over there. And you can see they're going out to refuel the airplane. Isn't that neat? That is some kind of operation, I'm telling you. Pulling up there, putting a little jet fuel in. All right. Let's go inside the, oh, let's go back to the barbecue. We got a jump track here with the airplanes. That's a Cessna 150 right there. If y'all remember, I used to own a 172. I sold it, I don't fly anymore, but uh, boy, this would be a beautiful place to fly out here. Golly. Jack, I see the aero, uh, the King Aerospace, uh, the King emblem on uh, each of these buildings around here. King Aerospace has four hangars out here, the one all the way down at the end, and then these three here in a row. And there's also other properties that are under lease right now, which will, there will be buildings started on them uh, in the not too distant future, along okay. with uh, possibly uh, three or four large hangars big enough for uh, Airbus 380. So, uh, and, and then there's 30 acres over here in that block building over there. Uh, Jerry's got amazing plans for this this area. All right, uh, what did you say the length of this runway was? You mentioned it's, it's, Airbus just then. Yeah, it's 9,200 foot long and it's just a couple of years old, concrete, 150 foot wide. You can land anything out here. Lord, you could land a the space shuttle. The space shuttle. There, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Tell us about this little little picnic area here, please. This is a this is a parade stand, and uh, if the if the pilots are here and they need to do some flight planning or just or just watch what's going on on the ramp, this is available. Uh, you got always have cold sodas available. Ice is available, and when the wind's blowing here, like it does in Oklahoma a lot, yeah. you can hear these uh, bombs whistling. <laughs> so it, sometimes it kind of makes you want to duck. Yeah. Old practice bombs, folks. Any drinks in there? Not right now. <laughs> All right. Where are you going, Jimmy? We'll get a picture of the barbecue grill. All right, I'm fixing to come to the barbecue grill right now. And then we're going to eat, right? All right. What a giant barbecue grill, my goodness. Jack, tell us about this. Well, this is a $31,000 grill. We, I, I think we've probably gotten 10 times that much benefit out of it. As you can see, there's a 747 mounted on the top of it. And when the grill's fired up, the smoke actually comes out the engines of the 747. Oh the, my the guy God. that built it's in Houston and he said he towed this around Houston after it was built and he had a fire going and he sold some of them as a result of doing that. Good and man. I want you to notice the wings yes. uh, on, on there. Those That's not gold paint. Those are actually, those are gold plated wings there. All right, I got them. The last time this was used, we were doing some work on a C9 on a Saturday and Jerry came out and cooked hot dogs for everybody himself. Wouldn't accept any help from anybody. My. Cooked this all a big hot dog meal. Goodness. Wow. Look. Wow. Go ahead, lift that up. That's heavy. I tried it. Oh, yeah, it's kind of, oh, yeah, man, that is, that is great. That is great. All right. That's a big barbecue wheel. Look at them big old tires on that dude. Jimmy? You ready? Let's go to the hangers. Let's go take a look at the hangers before we eat, okay? All right. Don't 
Little Night Incorporated, located Highway 71 south of the interstate, about three and a half miles. Folks, if it's Dolomite Lime you need at your place, they're bigger, they're better, they're cheaper. They can serve you better than anybody in the whole southeastern part of the United States. You call them right now. Get them on the phone. They'll come serve you. Dolomite Incorporated, located Highway 71 south of the interstate, about three and a half miles. And at Dolomite of Marietta, they also carry them rocks for them driveways. This is Perry at King's Discount Drug and King's Outdoors in Chipley, Florida. We've got long guns, we've got short guns. Ladies, we want you to feel at home. Whether it's a handgun for you or a layaway for your husband, we're here to help you one-on-one. -on -one. Deer rifles, shotguns, handguns, anything you need right here at King's Discount Drug. From brim fishing to bass fishing, we've even got the red hauling poles. Got everything you need. We have ammunition, any gauge caliber you need, and all gun accessories. For all your prescription needs and all your outdoor stuff, y'all come, come see, see us. us. Contractors, we can supply all your construction roll-off needs from 10 to 40 yards. Disposal Services LLC is locally owned and operated. Homeowners, we can supply the proper size roll-off dumpster for your cleanup project. We service Bay, Walden, and all the Panhandle. Are you dissatisfied with your current provider? We guarantee next business day service. Call us to discuss your recycling needs. For all your roll-off, demolition, land clearing, and portable toilet needs, call us today. Hey, Red, come on in the hangar. I want to show you this Pawnee that we rebuilt here several years ago. Oh, y'all y'all, uh, y'all rebuild the yes. whole airplane here? Yes, we did. You say this was hauled in on a trailer? Yes. <laughs> Man. From somewhere in Canada. Oh, it's completely and completely rebuilt right here at King Aerospace. It's built to tow gliders. That's Jared's plane. Yes, it is. That's Jared's plane. That's Jared King's son's plane, folks. You can see OSU, Oklahoma State University, N58. That's his number, his football jersey number. Oh, me, you talking about strong. This Jared King is some kind of strong. Look at this. Came in here on a trailer from Canada. That's huh? right. That's and, right, Rick. And y'all rebuilt it. That's correct. Is it set up for crop dusting? No, it's set up to tow gliders. Oh. oh. And you know, I think it would be uh, kind of like flying a rocket, don't you think? As oh, light as it is, man, it look at that. Four blade prop on it. Oh, It'd probably fly man. almost straight up like a rocket. That's what I'm thinking. It'd be fun to fly, I think. Folks, you see these? You, you can, it, this this will take the stress. <laughs> but the wings are fabric. That's fabric on there, folks. Fabric. All right. Boy, this baby is some kind of big hanger now. Folks, I showed you the outside of a hanger. Now here, this is the inside of a hanger. Huge. You're, you're rebuilding a plane in here, you say? We're repainting an aircraft for the FAA. It's uh -huh. going to be on display in, uh, I think it's the Mike Monroney uh, Aerospace Museum in Oklahoma City. Anyway, it's the FAA's museum there in Oklahoma City. It's a Lear fan. Okay. And there were, uh, there were 10 of them built. Three of them actually flew, and there's only three left in the world, and one of them's in here being repainted. All right, that'd be kind of a unique thing for us to see. Wow. It's, it's all composite. It's got a, a propeller on the rear. It's called a Lear fan. It's kind of yeah. like a pusher, and it's got two jet engines that, that turn that propeller. Okay. Are y'all sure you can get this baby where it'll fly again, Jack? No, it's not going to fly again. It's going to be on display. It's going to be painted. It's going to look new when it leaves here. Okay. But it's going to a museum. Okay, now see, folks, they were those two jet engines on each side of that. There was a prop. The prop's right there. Oh yeah, there's the prop. Now it's a pusher type. See? Oops, I couldn't see it. There's the prop, and it fit right on the tail of this back here. Look, it's got a rudder on it, an upside down rudder. I love that. But there's where the prop fit right there. Two small jet engines. There's one they're doing right over there. 
That one is being prepped for, for uh, top coat. For top coat. It'll be painted white in a couple of days. All right. Let's go eat something. Let's go. This is the wing off that, that leer that, uh, that we was just showing you in there. Nice wingspan. Boy, look at all those lines. Hydraulic stuff, wing spars, oh yeah. Look, there's a couple of Air Force trainers out here. And what they're doing, they're talking with the tower up there, and when they get ready to taxi with their pre-flight list and everything, they'll call the tower, and they'll tell them to taxi the runway number, and they will fly out of here on their training mission. Now here's King's guy. He's going to bring them out safely right there. went to the recept type uh, trainers, so man, what a savings in money that's got to be for us. Alright, I saw him blink the light. He put the lights on. He goes number one, taxi. Number two, taxi in. Off into the wild blue yonder. Air Force trainers. Right here at Ardmore. Barry's Battery Warehouse, located in Panama City at 1410 June Avenue, has automotive batteries, marine and golf cart batteries. We custom build battery cables and rebuild power tool batteries to make them last longer. Now our special discounted once a year price on marine lawn and garden batteries. If it's battery trouble, you gotta come see Barry's. Where's Q-Bot? Maybe he's out back. <laughs> Q-Bot, what are you doing? Destroying competitors' pricing. He's been at this all day. Mm. That's right, Quincy's Air Conditioning will be any competitor's pricing on new air conditioning equipment, changeouts, anybody and everybody. Shop the others first and get the best price you can, then call the man at Quincy's Air Conditioning. He'll beat their price by at least $100 guaranteed. So see today how Quincy's can save you money right now. Folks, R.D. Whitaker with Whitaker Electric. If you need underground wiring, we do it. Service pole install, we do it. Old fuse box, call us for estimate on a breaker box. From security lights to wiring pole barns, we do it. From the smallest electrical job to the largest, call us and let us give you an estimate. Red bought this mobile home over at the river, and they look at it, it was a mess. We rewired the whole house, made his family safe. Folks, I'm R.D. Whitaker. Call me for an estimate on any electrical work. It was Oklahoma City, a hundred and something right there. We've already been to Ardmore. We've already been within 90 miles of Oklahoma City. But y'all remember a while ago when I came through here earlier this morning, this Windstar World Casino we found out this is the second largest casino in the world, in the world. So I thought maybe we just might come up here and just take a look at this. I'm certain they won't let me take the camera on the inside, but uh, hey, we're on a field trip, right, Jimmy? That's what I'm Look out. What I'm talking about. Look out. I was rolling. That'd have, that'd have been real good. We run into that guy. Yeah, but at least we had him video. He pulled out in front of us. <laughs> yeah. Smack. Yeah, but you had your turn signal on. Look well, that's at this really, thing. I told you, it's bad for you to use them. Yeah, <laughs> bad for you to use them. Look at all that. I wonder if that's all casino. Must be. Must be all casino. Must be. We'll know in a minute. We're the second largest. Yep. Yeah. All right. Man, look at this thing. 
That's really something. We're gonna go in there. We're gonna walk through those doors and check it out. Folks, there's the skyline of Fort Worth, Texas right there. And you can see we're still in traffic and it's late afternoon. We're headed to El Lobo Ranch, about 125 miles, 100 miles south of Fort Worth, Dallas. But wow oh don't throw me through the windshield here man it's bumper to bumper oh man there's a little better shot of the skyline of fort worth but we only got about a mile or so left to go we're almost there boy look how how white it is. It looks like Steelfield Road, I'm telling you, with all this dust. Folks, these ponds out here are almost dry. They've had a terrible drought out here. Terrible drought. You just ain't got nothing to say, I don't guess. Oh, we, we talking to me again now? How am I supposed to know who you talking to? Well, sounds better, I guess, if I talk to myself. Y'all stand by. Looking at it, uh, what we're looking at is Rough Creek. Just before we get to Jerry King's, there's a church over here that's at Rough Creek. This is where we hunted birds, those uh, years we hunted birds, Red. Uh, good quail and pheasant shooting out in this uh, sage grass. And I think there's about 12 or 13,000 acres there that belongs to Rough Creek. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That is one nasty windshield I'm looking through. I washed that windshield. You washed at it. You see all them streaks and all that? Yeah. You just kind of washed at it. <laughs> Boy, that's straight up right there. I'm telling you. I don't even like to climb up. That'd be a good shooting stand for you, Jimmy. Can right you imagine there. crossing all this out here on a horse and buggy? Oh, man. And wagons Ooh. and stuff. Son, they was tough people. They tougher than we are. Tougher than I am, they yeah. Tougher. We mad, can we sit in the air conditioning and, <laughs> and the bumps in the road? We fussing about them. Yeah, yeah. And the fact we can't find them a good restaurant. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> and they was gonna have to put up with that all day and then get out and chop them some firewood, <laughs> build them a fire, kill something to We're gonna take you to the limit. We have a great selection of extreme boats in stock and ready to go. Huge discounts on all models. Save thousands by buying factory direct. Great financing available. We take great pride in manufacturing extreme boats. Every extreme boat features an all welded, all aluminum hull. Come see us. That's Extreme Boats, 10 miles north of Bonifay on Highway 79. All these windows were installed by Custom Glass. Big jobs in old and new businesses and condos. No job is too big or too small. All the glass and the new addition at the Bay Medical Center. Any type mirror, glass tabletop, and we specialize in enclosed showers. So if your need is any kind of glass, call Custom Glass today. Folks, the Panama City Marina is open seven days a week. Anyone can fish with just a dollar permit from the marina office. Look at all the neat stuff. Let your wife shop in our first class marine store. Live and frozen bait and fishing tackle you'll need. Pull in for gas and diesel fuel. We also have boat slips covered and open for rent. And we're just a short walk from downtown Panama City. I bring my family fishing here all the time. We in, Mr. Petty. Uh-huh. 
We are in. We're here. We're here. Uh -huh. It's been a long day since 4 o'clock this morning. Ooh, mm. See, Mr. King is here. Oh, Mr. King. Oh, Mr. King. Jerry. Jerry! Where you at? Oh, Jerry! There's the man himself, right there. Right there. There he is. He's probably sitting in the deer stand. He's not here. I've been all through the house, so let's go on down to the bunkhouse. Bunkhouse unloaded. unloaded the bunkhouse. Oh, it's kind of qu quiet around here. It was well, till I got here. <laughs> yeah. Boy, right, look at that old windmill right there. Oh, if only it could talk. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, Jimmy, look at the church up there with oh, this no, with this beautiful sun behind it. Oh. Man, that is an awesome sight. Look at those colors. Oh, man. I'm going to just stay wide on it. That is really something. Get your camera out and take a picture of that. All right, we're going to be staying right here at the bunkhouse. Upstairs. Is there an elevator in this thing? I don't remember one. <laughs> That's a long flight of stairs. And the stairs are metal. Gee, well, oh, Jimmy's still in there taking pictures still. You can see him. Take a look out across here. That's the ranch right there. Isn't that something to see? I see the gator down there. The what? The gator, so he must still be in the stand. Oh, okay. He drove the gator down There's there. The gator part down there. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's go here, folks. Look at this. Look at that old, old lot right there. Isn't that something? Wow. Where we gonna be spending the night? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're the Page family from the old house of seafood. Now we have a new restaurant and it's called Rough Stock Steak Pit and Seafood. That's just how good they are. At Rough Stocks, we do have the best steaks in Panama City. I just love Rough Stocks chicken. Mm. Rough Stocks, we got the desserts. From steaks to seafood, come see us at Rough Stocks. We are located in the Winn-Dixie Shopping Center next door to Subway in Lynn Haven. Rough Stocks. I'll tackle Rod's reels. We got them. I will tackle. We have the Yeti coolers. Shrimp, we got them. I will tackle. Got the eels. Rod's reels. We repair them. I'll tackle. Crickets and worms. We got them. We got them. everything you need to go fishing, fresh or salt, as far as pole fishing goes, right here at Howell Tackle, Panama City, Florida, sunny St. Andrews. As you can see, I'm, I'm shooting up, folks, and those saddles are mounted up there in, in, the, in the ceiling. Way up. That must be, oh, let's see, eight, that's a 25, it's 25 feet up to that ceiling right there. It's a very, very tall ceiling. Some more animals here. He's got those on the ranch here, too. All kinds of, oh. I bet that's my black bucket that I shot right there. Looked like one like that. I took several years ago out here. Jerry was kind enough to. And there is the, the Texas flag right there. Look at those chandeliers. There's a ceiling fan way up there in the top. There's two ceiling fans up there. Oh! <laughs> Where's my stuff? You bring my stuff? I just noticed you brought way more crap, I 
No, 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 no. That ain't none of my stuff. That ain't none of your stuff. That's right. I got one suitcase down there. You got more stuff than I got. Go down there and count the bags. You brought more than me. It's supposed to rain tomorrow now. Late tomorrow afternoon? Turn mm -hmm. cold, you bring a raincoat? Nope. I did. I was far <laughs> enough to remember none of the roof or none of them shooting houses leaked. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look over there now. I'm up at the level with them. Uh, my friend Lonnie Andrews sent me a picture of a deer that somebody killed up in Virginia the other day. And, uh, uh, well, there, there, it was a nice deer. Probably bigger than any of these over here. But look at that non typical right there. Isn't that something? And now what that's called, Jimmy, that, that one with the weird looking horn? Yeah, he'd be a non -well. Non typical. Oh, look at that boy. Yeah, probably he judges a non typical. What's the biggest deer? What what of your score the biggest deer that you've taken? Me? Yeah. Whoops. High one forties. High one forties? Yeah. Yeah. Lonnie was talking about this one that scored close to two hundred. Yeah, high one forties. Oh, okay. Well that's pretty good deer. I would guess this one right here, the big one here, yeah. the one from the left is probably a one. He's a 165, probably. 165? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think he has some, don't he have some bigger ones over in the... right over here is the... probably a 165 to 170. Right there. I put both of them in that 165, 170 group. Okay. He's got some more over in the, in the saloon, though. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. All right, folks. We got to go get, you going to get my bags, buddy? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, just sit there and wait on. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, buddy. I appreciate that. Jump the shower. Huh? I have to sit down where, is, where is my man that's supposed to be with me to wait on me, hand and foot, and tote for me? I don't know. I guess you left him in Pat Wall City. You no, no, no. He lives in Vernon. Yeah. <laughs> he lives in Vernon. You, say you just mentioned his name a while ago. Here comes the gator. You ought to get him coming across. Okay. Right? All right. I'm going to get him. Here comes Jerry, folks. He's been over there in the stand. I'm gonna get way out on it. Ooh, boy, I can't do that, can I? Well, let me go to night shot. Click. I went to night shot then. Wow, well, I tell you what, those bright lights is just eating this camera up. Just eating it up. It's coming out. That's a gator light, so I touch what he's driving. I got that chair, church silhouetted behind him. Oh man, what a shot. What a shot.